In the heart of India, flames danced with a deadly purpose, leaving nothing but ashes and despair in their wake. A devastating spectacle of destruction, the fire was a roar of hellish fury. It was as though the very earth had opened up to reveal a catastrophic inferno consuming everything in its path. This was not a small spark turned into a blaze. It was a monstrous conflagration that had exploded suddenly, ferociously, with an intensity that was almost unimaginable. In its wake, it left a landscape transformed into a desolate wasteland, a skeleton of what it once was. The inferno's fierce heat was so great, it altered the very it into a swirling vortex of smoke and ash, thick and suffocating. The flames danced with an eerie, deadly ballet, glowing tongues licking at the buildings, turning them into a maze of charred ruins. The sky turned a toxic orange, filled with the acrid stench of incinerated dreams. Everywhere, people stood in helpless shock watching their world dissolve into an ashy haze. The screams of terror and the cries of despair were drowned by the relentless crackle of the fire. The incident wasn't just a disaster, it was a cataclysm had wrenched the heart of India. The horror of the fire was so severe, its echoes reverberated not just through the nation, but also around the globe. This wasn't an insignificant incident. It was an event of such magnitude that it shook the very foundations of society, causing ripples of shock and sorrow to spread around the world. This isn't a tale of fiction, but a grim reality that unfolded recently. Picture this, a bustling city in India. The morning sun is rising over a skyline filled with a patchwork quilt of high-rise buildings, old-style bungalows and swaying palm a soft light seeps into the city, casting long shadows and bathing the city in a glow of ethereal beauty. The streets are alive with the buzz of morning activity. Vendors setting up their colorful stalls, children in uniforms scurrying to school, and the ceaseless honking of traffic, each entity in perfect harmony with the rhythm of the city. Suddenly, an abrupt interruption to this harmonious symphony occurs. The sharp, penetrating sound of fire alarms. It reverberates through the narrow lanes and expansive boulevards, unsettling the calm of an otherwise normal day. A sudden wave of panic sweeps over the city as the monstrous blaze engulfs a nearby building. The flames rise high as if reaching towards the heavens, their fierce dance casting a sinister glow onto the faces of the onlookers. The radiant orange and yellow hues paint a terrifying spectacle in the once serene dawn. The people scramble, their hearts throbbing in their chests, their faces etched with fear. But amidst the chaos, there emerges a beacon of hope. Our unsung heroes, the firefighters, with unwavering courage, they charge towards the towering inferno, their sirens piercing the tumultuous sounds of the city, their faces resolute and determined. They are the embodiment of bravery, undeterred by the terrifying spectacle before them. The firefighters, our unsung heroes, rush towards this towering inferno, their sirens cutting through the cacophony of the city. Despite the valiant efforts of these brave souls, the blaze proves too fierce, too voracious, the relentless inferno, born from an accidental spark, grows with a cruel hunger. It swallows up the air, filling the night sky with a ravenous roar that drowns out the desperate cries of those battling its monstrous onslaught. Each lick of flame is a beast of its own, wild and untamed, dancing with a terrible beauty that belies its destructive power. It feeds on the woodwork, the furnishings, the memories and dreams housed within the structure. It spares nothing leaving nothing untouched by its fierce embrace. The once familiar scenery transforms into an apocalyptic tableau, the warmth of the hearth replaced by a horrifying heat that is too intense, too merciless. Every attempt to subdue it feels futile, like trying to stop a tidal wave with a bucket. The firefighters, their faces etched with determination and fear, brave smoky mantle, their silhouettes against the orange glow painting a poignant picture of courage and despair. Even as the water meets fire, steam billowing into the sky, it does nothing to quench the flame's thirst. The building, once a beacon of hope, a symbol of progress and prosperity, starts to surrender. The walls crumble, the roof caves in, the once sturdy doors reduce to burning embers. 
It morphs from a standing testament of human achievement into a haunting void filled with the echoes of its past glory. And yet, through the devastation, the spirit of resilience remains. For each pillar that falls, another resolves to endure, to fight back against the cruel twist of fate. The building, once a symbol of progress and prosperity, now stands as a charred skeleton, a grim reminder of the tragedy that unfolded. News of this fire accident reverberates around the globe, casting a somber shadow. The international community, drawn together by shared emotions, watches with bated breath as the crisis unfolds in India. A devastating blaze, it spreads rapidly, consuming all in its path, leaving only destruction in its wake. The world stands still, frozen in time, as the nation fights an uphill battle against the inferno. People from all walks of life tune in, their hearts heavy with the weight of the unfolding calamity. The loss is inexpressible, immeasurable, going beyond the tangible. It is etched in the hearts and souls of the people. A loss not merely of property and physical assets, but the very essence that makes us human, the indomitable spirit. Yet it is in these moments of absolute despair that the true character of a nation is revealed. In the face of such adversity, India doesn't crumble. Instead, it unites, standing strong, people shoulder to shoulder, ready to rebuild and recover. The nation showcases its tenacity, its inherent resilience, the strength that is born from the embers of adversity. The world watches as from the layers of ash and soot rather than negation, there emerges an affirmation of life. Yet, in the face of adversity, the nation bands together, their resilience shining through the ash and soot. Relief efforts are promptly initiated, with aid pouring in from every corner of the world. The scene is a testament to humanity's collective strength and compassion in times of crisis. From the robust support of international communities sending aid, to the local heroes working on the ground, the atmosphere is one of determination and unity. Large contingents of volunteers, their hearts brimming with a shared sense of purpose, add their strength to the steadfast resolve to rebuild. In the midst of this, stand the firefighters, the first line of defense against nature's wrath. They are still battling the remnants of the raging inferno, their bodies pushed to physical extremes, their spirits unbowed. Every muscle aches from the strain of the constant struggle, yet they persist. They plunge again and again into the depths of the smoky, ashy aftermath, their faces smeared with soot and sweat. Each return from the fray sees them more weary, their uniforms increasingly charred, but their resolve undiminished. Despite the grime, their eyes shine brightly with determination, testament to their brave hearts. They work tirelessly, unfazed by the challenge, undeterred by the magnitude of the disaster. Their courage and dedication, their unwavering commitment to their duty, serve as a beacon of hope in these dark times. They are the embodiment of strength, resilience and sacrifice. Their courage and dedication serve as a beacon of hope in these dark times. As the dust settles and the smoke clears, the aftermath of the fire accident comes into stark view. Amidst the smoky haze, the once towering edifice now lies in ruins, its blackened skeleton a somber testimony to the rampant devastation that has occurred. The charred remains standing defiantly against the backdrop of the city's vibrant life are an eerie reminder of the transience of human endeavors. The grey ashes that blanket the ground bear silent witness to the lives and dreams that were housed within these walls. The scorched earth, a canvas painted and despair, reflects the irreversible damage inflicted by the merciless flames. The twisted metal, the shattered glass, despite their grim appearance, are a testament to the architectural splendor and craftsmanship that once graced this place. However, not all is lost in this landscape of devastation. The cityscape beyond the immediate vicinity, still bustling with life and energy, stands in stark contrast to the scene of destruction, the hum of traffic, the laughter from a park, 
the incessant honking and the hustle and bustle of everyday life continue unabated, creating a dissonant symphony that resonates with the promise of continuity and rebirth. The loss, though immense, is dwarfed by the spirit of unity and resilience displayed by the people. It's a testament to their indomitable spirit that despite this catastrophe, they remain undeterred, resolute and united. Their strength and their unwavering courage bear promise of a better tomorrow, of a city that will rise from its ashes, stronger and more resilient than before. In conclusion, this fire accident in India was a tragic event that tested the nation's mettle. It was a situation that no one had anticipated, a catastrophe of such magnitude that it sent shockwaves across the globe. No amount of preparation could have truly readied the nation for the harsh reality of the disaster. It wasn't simply a test of infrastructure and resources, but a test of the collective spirit of the entire nation. Yet, when faced with the monumental task of overcoming this disaster, India stood tall. The nation showed an exemplary show of unity and courage. Every individual, every community, every city and state worked tirelessly together to turn the tides. The firefighters fought bravely against the roaring flames. The medical teams worked the clock to provide care. The ordinary citizens banded together to provide support in whichever way they could. The nation showed that it was more than just a collection of individuals, but a cohesive, resilient entity. The aftermath of the fire became a testament to this resilience and the indomitable spirit of humanity. Out of the ashes rose a nation stronger than it had ever been, a society bound by empathy and a shared experience. In the wake of such a tragedy, amid the wreckage and the loss, India showed the world that it was not simply a nation that could withstand adversity, but a nation that could rise above it, proving that even in the face of immense tragedy, hope can still flicker and flourish. Though the flames of this accident have been extinguished, it's crucial not to forget the intensity that once blazed. The fire, in its rampant rage, consumed all in its path, a horrifyingly beautiful spectacle of nature's fury, its wrath, indiscriminate and unyielding. A vivid illustration of power, raw and unforgiving, it gave no quarter, illuminating the dark night with its all-consuming powerful blaze. The intensity of the inferno, the smoke billowing high into the night sky, the crackle and pop of burning timber, the intense heat radiating in waves, all created an unforgettable tableau of devastation. In the face of such disaster, it would be easy to succumb to despair. However, the human spirit is not so easily extinguished. From the glowing embers of tragedy, it was the indomitable spirit of humanity that shone brightest. Amidst the charred remains, we saw not only destruction, but also a chance for rebirth. We witnessed courage, resilience, a community coming together to rebuild, to heal. The aftermath of the accident was a testament to the unbreakable spirit of humanity. People rose from the ashes, dusting off the soot of despair, and began to rebuild, brick by brick, hope by hope. With every beam laid, every wall erected, they were not just constructing buildings, but were also rebuilding their lives, their community. Its memory will continue to burn bright, serving as a stark reminder of the destructive power of fire and the indomitable spirit of humanity that rises from its ashes.